All right, this time we're going to look at a house over off of Linden Road in Pinehurst. And it's a typical, it's another one of those one and a half story homes, you know, that you can kind of see the loft area from the front view here. But it's a contemporary looking home, and it's really not that difficult to measurement, but there are a lot of different measurements on this house anyway. So we're just going to start with the front and work our way around. And, you know, this first measurement's about as simple as you can do. It's a straight shot back, and whether you choose to do it with the disto or whatever measure, measuring tool you happen to have, or whether you want to do it with the tape measure. In this case, I used both just to verify the numbers. You know, it's always a good idea to verify and make sure your batteries are still good or your tape measure hasn't stretched out. You know, it's always a good idea to double check your tool sometimes. Now, in this case, there was nothing on the end for me to shoot the disto off of, so I'm walking to the end of this house and I'm going to shoot the way back to the front porch. Uh, in this case, and normally when I take the laser, you know, I usually do it two times just to be safe. That's always a good idea. And then in this case, I'm just going to pull the tape along with it just to make sure. And it ends up working out, you know, to be the exact same measurement, which is a good thing. But of course, you know, you always run into some creative measuring here. You know, you have to step up or step down or do something, get through the bushes. But, you know, you just need to always be prepared, you know, and have on a good pair of shoes to do that. Now, coming around to this left side, it's a pretty straight shot. You know, in this case, I didn't really go below the windows because they don't stick out much. But it's always a good idea to use the least obstructive view that you have. So technically, I could go a little bit below those windows and get the best measurement. Another case here, though, the disto measures the same as the tape measure. Then we're going to pull this little tape measure inside. And of course, you see I've got the gutter, so I make sure I don't pull the tape real tight behind that gutter because I want to get a straight shot. And this is also a good place to use your uh, laser measure because you can hold it out just a little bit and get a straight shot. And it really shouldn't change your measurement much, you know, but if you're an inch off sometimes or something like that, a gutter could be one of those reasons, and you just need to always take care when you're measuring around gutters. Now, here we're just double-checking that measurement, and then we're going to do the measurement going straight back. And again, the same thing with the windows. You know, we're just going to do that in a straight shot as much as possible. And here again, you know, I've just measured the straight shot and held it out just a little bit. But most of the time, it's pretty easy to do. And unless it's a really bright day, you know, I can see that red dot pretty good on there. So again, double checking the measurement, going through the bushes. And one thing I learned is it's probably not a good idea to wear a blue coat, you know, a dress coat when you're out measuring. You'll get all kinds of things over it. All right, here we're just doing the measurement that comes out. And of course, we'll look at that on the sketch. And this is taking us over to a large finished kind of a rec room. And we're just double checking our measurement again pulling it all the way back and of course you got a nice corner there with the wood siding where you can go and just pull it past the window over the bushes and have to balance out for the gutter there just a little bit again to the corner measurements balance and you move on to the front now, in this case, I really didn't have a place to bounce that disto off of, so I'm just going to walk this measurement with the tape measure. And actually, when we get to the end of this, you're going to see that this is actually the end of the finished living area. Oh, and don't forget, you see that little jut out there in the bottom now. That's for that particular room. That is an auxiliary heating system. 
But anyway, we've moved on to the detached garage. And regardless, you know, don't forget about garages. Regardless of how they've been finished, a garage is typically not included in finished living area. You know, I know I get some pushback on that sometimes, and maybe it depends on your market. But for the most cases, a garage should never be finished living area. So anyway, I'm measuring the inside of that garage to get that full measurement. And then also you can see you've got the little covered walkway there where I'm going to do the measurement for that uh, big bonus room or rec room or whatever you want to call it there. So we're going to pull that last measurement straight across and it goes a little bit further than the garage in this case. And then it's going to take us to a nice open uh, deck area in the back. We've got a little horseshoe there. And this deck area, they have a swimming pool in this case and a large deck, you know, and it really makes for a private backyard. You can see a little bit of a house through the bushes, but between the way the lot's laid out and the house is designed and the shrubbery there, the landscape, and you know, it's a pretty private backyard. And you can see the pool a little bit there and how they've got this large area. And of course, you just got that horseshoe area, which makes it pretty nice for your measuring. So I'm just going to measure straight down the right side, all the way across the back, and then come up the left side there. You know, nothing hard about that. And this is one of those houses where it's really, it should be pretty easy for everything to balance out. You've got one bay window, a small one, where you're going to have to make sure that balances, but that's a pretty easy one to do. Now, in this case, I'm just measuring the width across that back deck area there. And, of course, you can do it with both if you want to, but in this case, I think I just I started off with that, and then I was able to find something to attach that tape measure to. But I think, I don't know if you can see this on there, but actually I'm about two inches short from where I place my tape measure. So all I'm going to do is walk that tape measure over, and then I'm just going to add two inches to that measurement. So sometimes you do have to be creative, you know, in figuring out where to do, or where to hook a tape measure to, or whatever. But in this case, I've got a nice corner, and we're actually going to pull this tape measure up here and show you something. We may have talked about this one time before, but a lot of people still don't know that that little uh, wheel, if you will, on your tape measure, that is made to lock your tape. So if you're measuring by yourself, you know, and you want to hold that tape there while you walk around to another position, you can leave that there and the weight of that tape measure will hold your tape in place. Then you come back, you know, if we had to walk around that deck area, you come back, pick it up, unlock the handle, and you can finish your measurement. So it's a nice little feature to have on a tape measure, and most tape measures have that. Now in this case, we've got another gutter to go by, but we're just going to go straight across. And one thing I've learned over the years that a lot of times, you know, that gutter, when I do that, it makes about one inch difference. So I've kind of learned to adjust it, but I still do, you know, always try to check those measurements and make sure and get that right into the corner the best that you can. And then in this case, we've got this little bay section coming up there. And on bays, you know, we've talked a little bit about this before, but just remember, you can call it over and out, rise and run, you know, whatever you want to call it. But basically, you know, you've got two measurements. You're just going to hold a measurement up against the siding, measure the distance out, and then measure the distance across to find those two measurements. And actually, you know, the math on that's pretty easy. You can do, you know, the half 
of the triangle there if you want to or most of the time those measurements are the same so you can kind of put those two together and I'll show you exactly what that means when we do the measurement but you know I'm measuring distance over distance out and it's real easy to put in most you know sketching software to do I'm gonna come over do the measurement across the middle which in this case is pretty easy and when you have wood siding it's always nice because you can generally find somewhere to put your tape measure you know it may not be at the exact place you want it which in this case it worked out it was okay to do that but and you see how I pulled it over to the window so you can measure the distance from the window to that corner and just add that to your measurements so you know be creative when you have to just try to get that full distance across that middle section there measure the other side of the bay and you know you want to just double check to make sure it is the same in this case they're identical and most of the times at least in this market they're really identical and then all we've got is left is just that one little measurement straight across come right to where the corner begins and then we're going to head around the corner all right and, you know you always can double check to make sure what that full measurement is across the back you know and that bay make sure that balances out with the front of the house you know when you add the measurements up for the front you obviously want to make sure the back matches that and on this side you know we've got a straight shot over a little jut out there and then another straight shot you know the wood siding easy to measure in this case we've got a kind of a unique crawl space door and you want to make sure that you're careful as to where you step you know and just make sure that you've got a solid surface or try to bend over and make sure that you're not taking any chances on that now in this case we've got another gutter and you can see how that tape you know sticks out a little bit and that's where I was talking about usually that's a one inch difference for me you know and I can adjust it like that or if I've got a partner with me they will hold that tape measure straight out and it gives me a much tighter pull you know so I've got the exact dimensions on there but either way it's nothing difficult on that so the outside is pretty basic on there we had one last pull across the front and now we've moved into the interior of the house and I mean it's a pretty typical contemporary house now you're going to see the interesting part on the upstairs that has that loft area and this is another thing that the tax department will never understand you know they're going to look in the windows and try to guesstimate at what's on that upper level but I'm going to show you in just a minute just how far off the tax records can be sometimes and it makes a huge difference now in this case you've got a little bit of an angle on the steps going up just like we've always talked about you want to count those stairs on both living areas as finished space but you're really you come up to this little landing or loft area and I mean basically it's almost a rectangle you know you, it's only the one area just this little simple loft area and you can see to the front there your measurement is going to stop at the end of that wood railing so we've got two sides where you're going to put your tape measure or your disto at the end of that wood siding or the end of the wall as the case may be but now in this section we do have a little garage, uh, garage, excuse me. We have a little closet there, and it works out to be the same wall as you can see in the background on the other side of the steps. But you just want to make sure, draw it out. You know, you know the width of the stairs. This space is not really very difficult to measure, but you want to make sure, you know, take your time and make sure you get the measurements correctly and that they all balance, you know, write down all your measurements. Now, the first thing I want to show you is the tax records. If we have two different places for square footage in our tax records, the first one at 2155 
in the main tax department, they have 2,730. Now, okay, here, first off, you can see the little loft area and kind of see how that works out there with the stairs. But look at the square footage, 3,342. 2155, 2730, or 3342. Guys, this is why we measure square footage. This is why size matters. That is a huge difference. And the tax department or anybody, if you look from the outside, you never know what the inside design will look like. Always do an interior design and check it out.